by portraying the Kens as confused and lonely, Greta Gerwig might have actually provided us with the most accurate representation of incels we've seen before. It portrays incels in the most empathetic way I've seen before, even in satire. Okay, y'all, that, that is what I want to talk about. So I finally saw Barbie yesterday and actually went with my husband and he loved it. And I thought it was really funny, but I honestly just, I hated Ken the whole time. Like, ten, Ken is so toxic. And that video that I'm stitching, that's why. Ken is an incel. And I swear, like, I still have to figure out my what I think about this movie. It's definitely white feminism going on, right? There's lack, still lack of representation. No indigenous representation. Really inappropriate indigenous joke. Didn't seem to have much LG or any LGBTQ plus representation. Like, I don't know. My critiques have already been said, so. My main thing with this movie, I was like, why do I hate Ken so much? Ken sucks. And it's because Ken is the most, is, is the classic, he's the most dangerous man on the planet. You know how I talk about insecure men are the most dangerous men on the planet. Ken is a perfect example of that. And yet Greta, G <laughs> Greta Gerwig still treats him with so empathetically. Like, in the real world, that Ken would be shooting up schools. That Ken would be unaliving us. And that Ken is the kind who, you know, the, the least harm those Kens do are troll people like me constantly. Constantly. Har they're still harassing me because I threatened their games. Blah. And I'm so glad that Barbie did not end up with Ken. I honestly, I can't believe that she was so empathetic towards him because he sucked. He literally didn't even see Barbie because it was all about his own need for validation because he doesn't know himself. He's an insecure man who is literally so, he want, needs Barbie's approval and also needs men's approval because that hinges on getting Barbie's approval. And instead of creating community and getting to know himself, He's just competing against all the men, the Kens, worshiping Barbie from afar, but still doesn't see her as a human being. Because like that video says, the minute he gets power, boom, takes away all her agency, all of their agency and creates, I mean, it's funny. It, what I like about the movie is it's like, you know, horses and rah, you know, but y'all in the real world, of course, they're just going to have, you know, men slapping her butt and whatever. But in the real world, especially in the United States, those kins have pew pews. Those kins literally unalive us regularly. And I'm not saying they don't do that all over the world, but the kins in, in, from my world are armed. All these kins are dangerous, but God, and yet still, I mean, Ken had, can you imagine, can you, Ken, have you ever seen a man make a film where it was so thoughtful about the character arc of a woman I mean, maybe there's like five, but what you normally get is the Christopher, Christopher Nolan version, which is like, oh, I need a woman. I'm just gonna throw this woman in there and kill her to give the man a reason to do, go on his journey. But they call it what, dead, dead wives, refrigerating, whatever. This, but this, has been, this is like such a, ah, it's such lazy writing. And yet Barbie was very, I honestly, if we looked at, if we looked at, did the math, I would be, I wouldn't be surprised if, if Ken actually had more lines than Barbie. Maybe not at the very end because she has the whole thing about being a human. But I swear he gets equal, like it's so much about Ken. And what happens to Ken when he doesn't do the work of, of healing his childhood trauma, right? Because men, y'all have so much trauma. That's really why you hate us so much because you won't deal with it. You make it our problem. He won't, like he do, every, he doesn't know who he is. Insecure men are the most dangerous people on the planet. And they and then they do the Ken where they're like, look at me, oh, but none of that is real. It's all, it's all like ego. It's all like false bravado, whatever the hell you call it. Ken is an incel and even an incel, a female filmmaker treated him with humanity. Like, God, if you had, if we had seen a Barbie of like, the real Kens, what Kens are really like. I don't, I don't even know. But even when they, and when they, even when she treats them so empathetically, we still have men like Ben Shapiro, whatever his name is, burning Barbies. Like, even with kid gloves, y'all can't handle 
<laughs> this message that you need to find your own identity that's not rooted in patriarchy and worshiping us but hating us at the same time. And because this healing may take forever, women need to stop centering men because most men are just like Ken. And they're real, they, they have so much work to do on themselves. And if given just enough power, would do exactly what Ken did to Barbie.